Good morning to all. In last lecture, we have discussed about the meristem. Meristem ke baare mein pada tha. Today we will discuss about the apical meristem. Aaj hum discuss karenge apical meristem ke baare mein. Jaise ki meristem se humne classification padi thi on the basis of position. Jo meristem hai, three tarah ka hota hai. One is apical, second one is intercalary. एंड थर्ड वन इज लिटरल मेरे स्टेम सो इसमें हम आज पढ़ेंगे एपिकल मेरे स्टेम एज अ नेम इंडिकेट कि दिस इज प्रजेंट एट द अपैक्स ऑफ शूट एंड रूट सो इसमें भी हम आज पढ़ेंगे सिर्फ शूट एपिकल मेरे स्टेम एस ए एम सैम एंड रूट एपिकल मेरे स्टेम दैट विल बी डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो आर मेन फोकस इज ऑन शूट एपिकल मेरे स्टेम एपिकल मेरे स्टेम एज द नेम इंडिकेट that uh, this is present at the apex of root and shoot so meristematic tissues a group of meristematic cell jo kaha present hai apex of shoot and root to is tarah ka jo uh, meristem hai usko bolte hain hum apical meristem iska main function kya hai uh, of course it will give rise to the uh, ap apical parts of the plant for example shoot apical meristem will give rise to the above ground part and Uh, root apical meristem uh, will give rise to the root uh, above uh, sorry below ground part so main function is they produces one growth regulator growth hormone that is auxin uh, which we will discuss in plant physiology auxin is a growth hormone and helps in increasing root and shoot length so its main function is in growth the next uh, the growth which is shown by this apical meristem is commonly known as primary growth this is known as primary growth we can say growth in length simply so the growth in length is common known as primary growth this is initiated by this apical meristem so this is the picture which shows root and shoot apical meristem so this region is known as shoot apical meristem and this region is known as root apical meristem so this region it helps in uh, primary growth in roots and this helps in primary growth and shoot these are young leaves we call it as uh, we commonly call it as leaf primordia the next shoot apical meristem this is the picture which shows this region this region this region is commonly known as shoot apical meristem and these two structures which are uh, present in the periphery periphery of the shoot apical meristem they are developing leaves we call them as leaf primordias so this is a dome shaped structure this shoot apical meristem is a dome shaped structure which consists of a mass of meristematic cell we can say undifferentiated cells at the tip shoot tip so this is this portion is a source of all above gr uh, ground organs so sabhi jo above ground organs hain wo sare इसी के द्वारा बनाए जाते हैं शूट एपिकल मेरिस्टम दे नेक्स्ट जो लीफ प्राइमोडियाज हैं दे अराइज फ्रॉम द साइड ऑफ शूट एपिकल मेरिस्टम दोनों अलोंग द साइड्स ऑफ शूट एपिकल मेरिस्टम ये जो स्ट्रक्चर्स हैं दीज आर कॉमनली नॉन एज लीफ प्राइमोडियाज एंड दे विल फॉर्म लीव्स दे विल ऑल्सो गिव राइज टू ब्रांचेस फ्लावर्स जो भी प्लांट्स के ऑर्गन हैं एव ग्राउंड ऑर्गन दिज ऑल ऑर्गन आर फाउंड बाई दिस सेम दैट इज शूट एपिकल मेरिस्टम The next below this uh, below this different tissue zones are differentiated. जो ये वाली जो zone है इसके नीचे there are different layers we can say tissue zones जो differentiate होती हैं These are for example protoderm in many books they have written this this image shows the other type of zonation that is L1, L2 and L3. So these are three layers or they may uh, basically we call them as protoderm that is that means the skin. the outermost covering that will form the epidermis then procambium which will give rise to the vascular tissue and third one is ground meristem that will give rise to the ground tissue like cortex uh, co cortex endodermis and pith so these are the structure which are formed by this shoot apical next there are some theories which explains the shoot apical meristem organization how shoot apical meristem is organized so there are some theories first one is apical cell theory the second is histogen theory third is tunica corpus theory so apical cell theory as the name indicate this theory uh, explains that this shoot apical meristem consists of only single apical cell and that give rise to the whole plant so this theory 
is applicable to the lower plants only. Next, we will discuss in detail apical cell theory. This theory was postulated or put forward by Nageli in 1858. Uh, it is the first theory to explain the apical organization of plants. So this is the first theory. Uh, it shows that that I have already to, uh, discussed that a single apical cell forms the growth point of most of the cryptogams. So this single cell is responsible for the growth of cryptogams. So there is a term cryptogams. So cryptos means hidden, games means reproductive structures. So those plants in which the reproductive structures are hidden are commonly known as cryptogames. So it includes algae, bryophytes, and ferns, tridophytes. Next, the cell, the cell which is responsible for, for growth of plant is commonly known as apical cell. That's why this the name of theory is apical cell theory. And activity of this cell forms complete plant body. The next there are some drawbacks of there are drawbacks of this theory this theory is not universally accepted because it is not applicable for gymnosperms and angiosperms so this theory is not applicable for uh, these two groups of plants so this theory was rejected this is not accepted for all the plants next this is the picture uh, so this region that is the apical region this apical cell is responsible for the growth of plant according to this theory so this is a cell which shows how uh, by the growth of this cell, it will divide in many plants and give rise to the full plant. The next is histogen theory. This theory was put forward by, forwarded by Hanstein in 1868. And according to this theory, the plant body uh, originate from a group of cells, a mass of cell um, that is undifferentiated cell or meristematic cells. So it consists of three zones which are commonly known as histogen so each zone is known as histogen histose is a study of tissues so there are three layers the so first one is dermatogen this outermost layer dermatogen and derm means derma means skin so it will form the outermost covering that is epidermis epidermal region of the plant second layer is peribellum so peribellum is the inner region it will give rise to the uh, <coughs> dermatogen cortex so cortical region is formed by this periwellum. Next third region is pleurome. This is the central or core region of the uh, this uh, shoot apical meristem. So it will give rise to the vascular bundles, the conducting tissue that is xylem and phloem. So there are some demerits of this uh, theory. It is rejected because these zone, these three zones are undifferentiable. They cannot be differentiated easily. So these zones are not differentiated differentiable we can say hum inko differentiate nahi kar sakte hain in the apical region so this theory was rejected the next there is next theory that is tunica corpus theory so this tunica corpus theory according to this theory this was given by schemet in 1924 according to this theory <coughs> jo apic shoot apical meristem hai it consists of two parts basically two parts one is corpus and other is uh, sorry first is tunica then other is corpus so there are two parts uh, which form the shoot apical meristem so this was proposed by Schimmet in 1924 the next there are two different distinct zone we can say clearly visible zones in the apical region which are commonly known as tunica and corpus in addition to this tunica that is the peripheral or outer layer of the shoot apex so it consists of one to more layers as an single layer se milke banti hai it is made up of more than one layers so the dicot hai is mein jo tunica hai it is made up of one to five layers of cells ek se panch layers of cells ho sakti hai in case of monocots jo monocots hai unme ek se char layers ho sakti hai tunica ki and and in addition to this that is very important point that is plane of cell division plane of cell division in case of tunica is anticlinal division so what is anticlinal division anticlinal division is the division which increases the number of cells simply number of cells so this perpendicular division which increases the number of cells so this division is known as anticlinal division so due to this anticlinal division there is 
uh, no thickening of tu uh, tuning up because for thickening it require other division by which it it it, it, uh, it can increase the number of layers so is major division that is anticlinal and this division is responsible for increasing number of cells not number of layers so ye jo uh, growth hai iski it grows as sheet but not in thickness kyun because isme jo number of layers hain wo increase nahi hoti hai that is other type of डिवीजन जो हम नेक्स्ट स्लाइड में पढ़ेंगे और इसका जो मेन फंक्शन है ट्यूनिका का इट विल गिव राइज टू एपिडर्मिस सो आउटर रीजन विल गिव राइज टू द डर्मल रीजन दैट इज एपिडर्मिस समटाइम इनर लेयर ऑफ ट्यूनिका किसी केसेस में जो इनर लेयर है ट्यूनिका के दे कैन फॉर्म कॉटेक्स एंड वेस्कुलर टिश्यू इन सम प्लांट्स नेक्स्ट इज कॉर्पस सो दिस इज द इनर रीजन कॉर्पस इज द इनर रीजन इन दिस पिक्चर इट इज क्लियरली विजिबल दिस वन दिस रीजन इनर टू ट्यूनिका सो इट इज द इनर जोन ऑफ इनर टू द ट्यूनिका इट इज सेवरल लेयर थिक ये जो जोन है ये बहुत सी सेल्स की लेयर के से मिल के बनती है एंड इट इज लार्ज इन दैन ट्यूनिका ट्यूनिका से इसका साइज बड़ा होता है इनिशियल इनिशियल सेल्स इट मीन्स जो स्टार्ट करेंगे फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कॉर्पस दे लाइज जस्ट बिलो द ट्यूनिका रीजन ट्यूनिका के नीचे वाले पोर्शन में ही ग्रुप ऑफ सेल्स होते हैं जो बनाते हैं कॉर्पस दीज आर कॉमनली नॉन एज कॉर्पस इनिशियल्स दे लाई बिलो ट्यूनिका नेक्स्ट देर इज नो कनेक्शन बिटवीन ट्यूनिका एंड कॉर्पस सो कॉर्पस इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ ट्यूनिका सो ट्यूनिका का कोई कनेक्शन uh, नहीं है कॉर्पस के साथ सो कॉर्पस टिश्यू जो कॉर्पस टिश्यू है दैट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ ट्यूनिका नेक्स्ट दे डिवाइड पेरिक्लाइनली पेरिक्लाइनली मीन्स दे विल इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ लेयर्स सो इट विल ग्रोज इन थिकनेस सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज मोर थिकर एज कंपेयर टू ट्यूनिका एंड इट विल गिव राइज टू द कोर द सेंट्रल पोर्शन ऑफ शूट सेल्स डिवाइड इन ऑल प्लेन्स जो इसके सेल्स हैं सभी प्लेन्स में डिवाइड करते हैं जनरली जो कॉर्पस है ये बनाता है कॉटेक्स एंड वेस्कुलर टिश्यू जो कॉर्टिकल रीजन है और वेस्कुलर टिश्यू है दैट इज फॉर्म बाय कॉर्पस एंड दिस इज एप्लीकेबल और दिस इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन इन एन जी ओस पम्स एन जी ओस पम्प में दिस इज एप्लीकेबल दिस थियोरी फॉर क्रिप्टोगेम्स एंड जिम्नोस्पम्स ये थियोरी uh, उसमें uh, we can say this theory is not applicable for cryptogams and gymnosperms but for exception gymnosperm mein do genus hain uh, ephedra and araucaria they will follow this theory otherwise it is not applicable for uh, cryptogams and gymnosperms so this uh, is all about this theory uh, if you have any questions you can ask uh, for today's lecture uh, this we have done Uh, for next lecture we will discuss about the root apical meristem thank you have a nice day